Madam President, distinguished guests, families and friends, graduates, in concluding this ceremony, let me as pro-director add my personal congratulations to you all on this very special occasion. Well done, you did it. <laughs> Graduation ceremonies are formal, and they follow a tradition that in Britain has developed over many centuries. Gradu graduation symbolizes the move of the former student, the graduate, into the wider society as a graduate, ready to use your skills, knowledge, and understanding. Today represents the day when we celebrate that transition, but also your extraordinary successes and achievements. Because whether you go on to further studies or move into the world of real work, you are all now alumni of SOAS, and you will always be part of the SOAS community. We take immense pride in the strong community we have here in the school. It's one of our defining characteristics. Students, staff, our many research associates and honorary members of the school are bound by shared ideas about the world, an intense curiosity about people and society, and a desire to make a positive difference. Part of the difference we make is through our academic success we address issues of global concern and aim to make great things happen through our research and teaching. Whether that's on issues related to public policy, like food and water security, international human rights law, gender and development, or the role of Islam in the modern world, or on issues that are less obviously policy relevant but are just as important to SOAS, like documenting endangered languages, understanding and maintaining musical traditions from the Balinese gamelan to the West African core, and what fantastic musical entertainment we've had here today as well. And we are delighted that last week, four of our professors have been elected as fellows of the British Academy, the pinnacle of academic achievement in the arts and humanities, and a great credit to their own work and to their departments. Our students are equally impressive, and not just for the collective work that they do that Georgie referred to, but also some individual examples. For example, economics student Sarah Bedford's social enterprise was joint winner of the London Entrepreneurs Challenge Provost Prize. Her initiative, called Eat and Greet, tackles social isolation in residential homes, bringing together care home residents with groups of visitors over a weekly lunch. And meanwhile, PhD student in languages and cultures, Portia Owusu, has won a highly prestigious Fulbright scholarship, joining a community of scholars that includes more than 50 Nobel Prize winners and 75 Pulitzer Prize winners. Portia will be developing her research into English and American literature, slavery, and the West African diaspora at the University of Kansas next academic session. So well done to all of our students for your achievements. These are just some of the achievements that uh, make me incredibly proud. They highlight the real impact that SOAS students have, and I hope they will inspire you to achieve your goals on whatever path you choose. So what does it mean to graduate from SOAS? First of all, you join a worldwide family of 50,000 alumni, most of whom are still in regular contact with us. We have authors, philosophers, musicians, TV presenters, filmmakers, comedians, restaurant owners, diplomats, journalists, MPs, managing directors, human rights lawyers, pol political activists, and academics. You name it, and a SOAS graduate has probably done it. And many of our alumni, in turn, choose to give something back to the school. I'm not just talking about money, though you may have heard of the recent £20 million donation from one of our alumni to support an ambitious new program in Southeast Asian art. Now, if you ever find yourself in a ro such a robust financial position, <laughs> and no doubt some of you will, we'd be delighted to hear from you. <laughs> but just as important, many of our graduates give something back to the school in other ways. For example, our Take an Alum for Coffee scheme may have put some of you in touch with our wonderful network of alumni for insights and advice about the wealth of different career paths that they have followed. We hope that you'll be willing to do the same or indeed help spread the word of SOAS in many other ways. 
So today does not mark the end of your relationship with SOAS. You are now part of this great community across the world, and we will follow your careers with immense in interest. For some reason, new SOAS graduates can be hard to reach, probably because you're all out doing amazing things. So please help us to keep in touch with you by giving the careers or alumni team your contact information today, either in the Gowning area or in the marquee after the ceremony. Now, these are challenging times, but the school has been through many tough years in its long history, and it's come through with a combination of imagination, resilience, and distinctiveness. We are working towards our centenary in 2016, which we plan to celebrate in proper SOAS style. The newly refurbished north block of Senate House will open in June next year, and the building will offer state-of-the-art teaching and research facilities and student services. It will mean that SOAS will be, once again, a single-site campus with all the energy and intellectual curiosity that defines our community concentrated into a single, vibrant precinct. Senate House is the perfect launch pad for our second century. So please, do come back and visit the new campus when it's, it, it's complete, and especially during our centenary year, which runs from June 2016 to July 2017, when we plan to have some amazing events and activities on campus. And if you can't make it back to London, look out for events that we'll be organizing around the SOAS regions, from China and India to Africa, the Middle East, and North America. It's your school, so please do stay involved. Finally, today is a chance also to thank those people who have supported you through your studies. So before I close, I would like you to join me in a round of applause for your parents, relatives, sponsors, and friends, all of whom have made your achievements possible. That's terrific. Congratulations again. Have a splendid day and all good wishes in your future careers. Thank you.